हे गाइस व्हाट्सएप वेलकम टू क्लास 16 इन द लेक्चर सीरीज ऑन राइटिंग एन इफेक्टिव रेज्यूमे इन दिस क्लास वी शेल ट्राई टू सी व्हाट काइंड ऑफ फॉन्ट्स आर यूज्ड ऑन अ रेज्यूमे एंड व्हाट फॉर्मेट्स आर सजेस्टेबल फॉर अ रेज्यूमे वेल फॉन्ट मीन्स द टाइप ऑफ टेक्स्ट हाउ वी प्रजेंट अवर टेक्स्ट इज एक्चुअली फॉन्ट नाउ देर इज एक्चुअली नो सच रूल दैट वी हैव टू फॉलो ओनली पर्टिकुलर फॉन्ट बट टाइम्स न्यू रोमन एरियल Calibri, Garamond, and Georgia are few fonts which are found used more on resumes because they look simple and easily readable. If your font is readable, that is enough. There is no mandate that only these fonts are to be used. Anything, but if you found if they are readable, then that is enough for an interviewer. And there are many things. which we have on our resume we have various headings we write names we write subheadings and we will write uh, content now what font is suggestible and what should be the size and should it be bold should it be italic or not for each type i will tell you what to be used i am taking example of times new roman here however different fonts have different font size for various sections but this i am using i am telling for times new roman well the headings and name we write our name on the top of resume and we write headings like career summary education qualifications skills etc these are actually headings now what font to be followed suggestible is times new roman in 12 size which is to be bolded and all alphabets should be capital then this is suggestible so it looks like for example if you write career summary it is like this and or you can use times new roman size 14 with title case title case means all first alphabets in each word will be capital this also is suggestible for headings so you can use these two if you are using times new roman this size may change for font to font then for subheadings times new roman 12 title case title case means again first alphabet capital in each word plus bold so make them bold and first alphabet should be capital in 12 size times new roman for example project title tools used future scope these are subheadings in a project so this can be written in this font then coming to regular content times new roman 12 and general no bold no italic simple general times new roman 12 is suggestible for all the content across the resume so these are the suggestible fonts i have taken example of times new roman then what are the rules can we have colored font can we write colored text yes why not but use unique use common colors if you are using one color for heading and use common color for all the headings if you are using let's say black for content then use but we strongly recommend not to go for colors because we, we don't know what will be perspective of interviewer towards colors every individual have different aspect different take on colors and uh, in professional communication even colors have language so we strongly suggest not to go for colors but yes it is not a mandate if you really like if you think colored print will make resume effective then why not then second point font should be uniform for headings subheadings and content if you are using let's say for headings if you are using times new roman 12 all caps bold then you should use the same font for all the headings and content also same subheadings also same whatever you you have used started using you use the same thing in some resumes we observe that uh, people use underlines for headings and if you are it is not a no if you started using underlines then for throughout the video you you can use underlines it is not wrong at all the only co concept is you should be uniform auto fit the content to window ruler yes this is very very important in when you when you fit the content onto a resume it is very important that the entire resume looks uniform fit into the window window so it is always suggestible to auto fit the content to window so it will take same scale i'm sure you might be seen a ruler 
on the top of your Microsoft Word if you are using it in micro, if you are editing your resume in Microsoft Word. So whatever the size your uh, ruler takes, then the, your content also takes the same size. Then justifies the content. Look at the image what I've shown here. I'm sure you might have seen this uh, image here. So first is left aligned, it is middle aligned, right aligned, and it is justified. So always we always suggest please go for justified because justify keeps the text uniform so it looks better when you justify the content so please do that then set uniform spacing it is same for lines line to line spacing and paragraph to paragraph spacing and uh, section to section spacing it should be always uniform and use common bullets uh, regarding bullets uh, always prefer using filled bullets like a dot thick dot or a small square, but which is, which is filled. Don't use hollow bullets or don't use any designed bullets. Always use a, a, a filled bullet that gives that that is actually format which is followed on resume. For all, of course, for all formal documents. Then coming to format. So how should I how should I set my format? So you'll have many doubts. Can I have photograph on my resume? Can I have any company logos on my resume? Uh, can I do some design things uh, on resume? Can I have some pictures? Can I have a picture resume? All these doubts we have. But let me tell you very strongly here, there is no fixed format for any resume. Resume can be presented in your own way. Only purpose of an interviewer, only concern of an interviewer should be, if it is readable, they will respect it. If it is not readable, they might find it difficult. So to make it easy for them, we keep resume simple so that's the only thing there is no fixed format anything is accepted and no content is mandatory as i was as i as uh, throughout the uh, video we kept on telling you no format is mandatory or nothing is mandatory regarding resume rules everything is optional majority at least majority of them are optional and don't use any resume building applications these days we are seeing candidates downloading some mobile applications where they just dump their content and they will get a resume in various templates but please understand if you want to edit in the last minute just in one hour you have your interview and you want to make changes then it is very difficult to change in a mobile application very very less tools or at least purchased versions only have that editable things so if you edit your if you edit your resume in any mobile application if you make your resume in any mobile application it becomes very difficult for you to make changes because resume you will have many changes before applying for the job during the interview process and also after the job you have to make very very uh, at least minor changes but many changes so we strongly suggest you have a editable format along with you don't use resume building applications which are not editable then photograph and certification logos are actually optional if you really feel adding a photograph in a, in a formal dress adds value then why not you can have you are free to have so that is it about formats and and font to be used on a resume if you have any doubts you can just uh, leave a comment if you like the content please subscribe to our channel in the next video we will see sentence rules and grammar check on resume thank you for watching this video